Hi and welcome to another new episode of the Cycloids. We hope you're doing well. Here today, we are going to talk about action cams. If you're a YouTuber, an adventure lover, or somebody who's planning on buying an action cam, this video is for you. You need to watch every bit of it. This is not an unboxing video. It's not a review. I can tell you that. It's our experience firsthand, which we want to showcase to you so that you may be able to make a very informed decision. There are two kings in the market, formidable forces fighting one another. The first is of course the very popular GoPro Hero, which is focused exclusively on action cams and rules pretty much all of the market. Then there is the DJI, the more versatile brand that has gimbals, drones, and action cams that's increasingly becoming popular as we speak. So what really is an action cam? It's an amazing piece of equipment that allows you to do some very versatile photography and videography in very difficult and extreme terrains, including underwater. So quite obviously, it has to be waterproof. So it should be quite evident that these market leaders boast good waterproofing capabilities for their devices. The GoPro on its part boasts that you could use their equipment to about a maximum of 10 meters underwater, while the DJI says that you could use their cams to at least a maximum of about 11 meters underwater. 11 meters underwater. Okay, whatever. We want to talk about our equipment. This here is the GoPro 4 Session, which is about four years old. A great piece of equipment which has made some fantastic memories for us. The stabilization is pretty good. And at that time, it was really a piece of equipment worth investing into, which is exactly what we did. Now here we've got the DJI Osmo Action, which was bought only months ago. This one is an amazing piece of equipment too. First of all, it's, it's got two screens, dual screens, one at the back and the other at the front. Rock steady stabilization, which can help you take some fantastic images and videos. And it's got some very crisp 4K recording capabilities that are second to none. So the GoPro is an amazing piece of equipment. We've shot some fantastic videos underwater. Four years and counting, we've had absolutely no trouble whatsoever. But our new friend here, the DJI Osmo Action, only two months ago that we bought it, we decided to use it underwater and it goes boom. Can you believe it? That's exactly what happened to us. So a couple of days before we went out camping and we saw a spot of water, we jumped in, we were very excited to test a brand new toy, a nearly brand new toy. And we did some fantastic underwater videography. But much to our horror, midway, the entire damn thing shut down. We thought it was a battery problem and we pried open the battery cabinet only to find more water in the cabinet than there was in the water body itself. Now, are you really waterproof? I doubt that very much. Okay. While I was disappointed, I wasn't really worried about it because I thought, okay, there's a service center that's going to come to my rescue. So I ran back home, did a Google search, DJI authorized service center near me. And guess what? None in India. Bloody exasperating. That's how it gets. But I didn't give up. I went to the website, did a quick search of the forums, and to my horror, thousands of people out there crying aloud about their brand new piece of DJI Osmos gone underwater and totally fried. And you know what makes it worse? DJI does not even respond to customer complaints. How sad can it get? In fact, how sick can it get? I'm wondering, aren't they Chinese? Well, do I have to say anything more? Even on the official forums, 
There are tons of complaints by DJI customers who have been extremely depressed and saddened by what has happened. And what makes it worse, DJI does not acknowledge, does not respond, or does not even bother attending to customer complaints. Can you imagine you shell out a ton of money to buy a piece of equipment like this and DJI claims that it is waterproof only for you to test it and find it otherwise and you lose your money. So while we found that GoPro 2 does not have an authorized service center in India, they're far more responsive and acknowledging of customer complaints and requests, which is exactly what a market leader should be doing. Now, the DJI Osmo is definitely not a bad piece of equipment. However, they claim it to be waterproof, which it isn't. And in case you're buying a DJI Osmo, make sure you don't take it anywhere close to where there's water. So now, if, you are, if you've decided to go out and buy an action cam, you know what to look out for. We've included the official DJI forum link in the description below. Don't forget to take a look at it and understand what's happening to people. And in case you've had a DJI or a GoPro action cam fail, please write to us and let us know so that we'll be able to share your story as well. For now, this little paperweight that was once an action cam, we're gonna use it as a piece of souvenir, except that we've paid a ton of money for this. And I can't wait to buy the new GoPro Hero 9. See you soon.